If you guys are looking to buy some cheap and reliable MT, head on over to AOLA.com and use code YBC at checkout for a discount. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I am back. Bring another video, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys a gameplay with the brand new fan favorite Pink Diamond Minute Bowl. Quickly, before we hop into it and everything, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. Right now, we are less than 100 subscribers away from 76,000 subscribers, so help us achieve that 76. Thousand subscriber milestone goal today by hitting that subscribe button and real quick also if you guys could do me a real quick favor and drop a like on this video that would be greatly appreciated let's see if we can get 500 likes on this video for my guy Manu Bowl jumping straight into it right here as you guys can see we have this brand new Manu Bowl card in which I did just buy him for 75.5 thousand mt this new bowl right here guys is the tallest player in nba 2k20 my team standing in at seven foot seven and that is the main reason why he is a fan favorite card because of his height nobody is as tall as new bowl in nba 2k20 nor in nba history he's the tallest center slash player who ever played the game basketball in the nba on top of him being the tallest center guys 2k every single year gives this man a three ball because when he did play in the nba he did shoot a little bit of threes but you guys already know if 2k finds someone who shot a little bit amount of threes they're gonna give that man a three-point rating a really really good one the prime example of this is dwight howard guys dwight howard shot three throughout his career right he made one i believe one or two not many at all but he shot a little bit here and there throughout his career, and guess what? 2K gave that man 80 plus three ball. Even though Dwight Howard has not taken a three, I believe, this season, he shot a couple in his career, and 2K just a living life out of him. Same thing, guys, with this Manu Bowl card, guys. We go over to badge and attributes. I'm pretty sure 2K gave him a really good three ball. With that being said, now, guys, without further ado, let's go on ahead and take a look at this man's badge and attributes, and, we'll, and then we'll hop into the gameplay with him. As 2K made him a half center, half power forward, kind of cheesy how he is a half power forward. Moving on to the badge count right here, he does come with 22 Hall of Fame badges and 11 golds for a grand total badge count of 33. When it comes to the Hall of Fame badge right here, 2K gave him Hall of Fame catch and shoot, brick wall, pick and popper, hot zone hunter, drop stepper, put back boss, lob city finisher, rim protector, chase artist, box, green machine, defensive leader, heart crush, intimidator, rebound chaser flexible release post move lock tireless defender trapper worm pick and roller and deep hooks moving on to 11 goals right here i'm gonna be naming off the most important gold badge that 2k gave him which are gold back down punisher pogo stick clamps quick draw rain extender wow that right there guys is a cheesy very very cheesy combination of quick draw rain extender on the tallest player in nba 2k20 my team Moving right along, taking a look at the attributes for Manu Bowl. 2K gave him an 80 driving layup, 94 post hook, 90 draw foul, 96 close shot, 80 mid range, 83 three pointer, 85 free throw, 95 standing, and an 80 driving dunk. Moving right along right here to the playmaking. His playmaking attributes are really, really bad, but that's kind of expected for Manu Bowl card. His defense, though, is on point at a 99 block, 80 steal, 55 perimeter D, and a 95 interior defense, 98 rebounding across the board for both offensive and defense rebound. 2K also gave this man a 50 speed, 50 acceleration, 80 strength. Well, wow, I'm kind of surprised they didn't give him a higher strength than an 80. He also does come with 98 stamina, 60 lateral quickness, and wrap it all up. He also come with a 98 defensive and a 90 offensive consistency. In a quick shoot around right here before we hop into the gameplay with Manu Bowl, take a look at his hot zones and his jump shot. The hot zones are from pretty much everywhere on the court except for the right and left elbow mid-range area and also the top of the key three-point area and the left wing three-point area. Now take a look at this man's jump shot. Oh boy, that is a weird jump shot. Even though I did green, it is definitely a weird one. Um, I can definitely tell I'm going to be getting a lot of full bars in this gameplay that we're about to play because the jump shot is extremely, and I mean extremely hard to time. Last year back in NBA 2K19, they gave him a cash money jump shot, but in NBA 2K20, they tweaked it around a little bit and made it a lot harder to time. So with that being said, guys, now, without further ado, let's hop into the gameplay and ultimately see how good he is on the unlimited courts. Pick and pop right here between Magic and Manu. He's actually fading to the paint. I don't know why. Rizzi's been here though with 7 foot 7 Manu. Got him in the air jumping. They were going up with this one, drawing a foul, and nearly getting an and one. Whenever Manu gets really to the paint, honestly, it's a GG because there's not really any stopping him when he gets that deep in there in the paint. Just because he can literally dunk the ball without jumping as we do go 2 2 from the line to start off this game. Gonna run a nice pick and pop right here. We're gonna try to run one between Magic and Manu Bull. Good speed up top by Manu. Got Manu right here. On the pop. Okay, got Derrick Rose on us. Take advantage of this. With three, with two, we're going all the way. Posterizing Joel B. This man jumped like two inches in the air to dunk that one home. Honestly, guys, my opponent's been doing a really, really, really good job of guarding my pick and pops that I'm trying to run between Manu Bull and Matthew Johnson. He's been switching pretty much every single one. I can't really get Manu to open. Although he is over right here with separation. Bang! 
There we go. Nice shot by Manu Bowl. Just as I was saying, he's been doing a pretty good job. He kind of got slipped up and caught him lacking a little bit. Pick and pop action right here between Magic and Manu. And we got Manu right here on a pop catch and shoot for three. Bang! Back to back green beans for my boy Manu Bowl. Really, the only way that I'm going to be able to score threes with, with Manu Bowl is these pick and pops, which is why I'm running them, trying to run them a lot right here, guys. He's playing them pretty well. Magic on a drive and paint with a nice finish inside in the paint. Because Manu Bowl is 7 for 7, he doesn't have that insane ball handle like other centers and point guards do. Kind of like Bam Adebayo, he doesn't have that ball handle because he's pretty much a foot taller than Bam Adebayo. He cannot create his own shot, which means, guys, it's just going to be a lot of pick and pop that I'm going to be running in this gameplay. We have him right here. No one, we actually have Magic in the paint, and that lip is good. It would play Manu Bowl on that pop. Okay, for some odd reason, we got R.J. Barrett on Manu Bowl. Gotta take advantage of this. Okay, can you not post up R.J. Barrett, Manu Bowl? Are you serious? You're foot taller than him. Nice spin, and that lamp is good. Nice finish inside Manu. It scared me for a little bit. I thought for a second there you couldn't score on that man, R.J. Barrett, who is a foot shorter than you. And Manu Bowl gets that steal. I'll take that. Manu Bowl right here in the paint. Hops in right through Joel and beating that lamp is good. Great finish inside by Manu again. Let's go on a break. Is Magic Johnson. Keep running, Manu. I see Manu Bowl around the floor. So I'm rewarding me. He's going all the way. Drawing a foul and getting it in. One. Way to absorb all that contact and finish right through it. Now let's convert to Sam one at the free throw line. I did shoot free throws earlier with, with Manu Bowl. And honestly, his free throw is pretty easy to time. And this free throw right here is up. Easy to time and money as well. We convert that and one. Good steal by Manu, guys. We're in the post. Got Javel jumping. Nice moving. Jumper, that's off though. Manu got Javel in there again. Staying patient, getting that lip to go in the paint. Great finish inside. Got 6.8 seconds left right here in this first half. Let's try and end it off right here with a stop. Come on. Get to the corner. Get to the corner. I'm there. That's good defense on KD. No way that goes in. Let's go. Boy by D Rob. Great way to end off this first half as we're going to be up by three heading into the second half. We're going to try and put the ball to the court right here. Give it to Manu in the corner. Got Isaac jumping. Nice pump fake. And Manu's going all the way in the paint. And that lip. It's good. I can't believe that this man is seven foot seven, and my opponent's jumping in the face of Manu Bowl to stop him from shooting a three. I do say I'm surprised, guys, because honestly, my opponent should not be able to jump like that to contest and guard Manu Bowl. Because honestly, his three pointer should not be that high. As we play great defense, that should have been an inbound steal. It's all good though. That's off. We can't can't get the board. Come on, Manu. You're seven foot seven. Can't grab a board. That's good defense. No one that goes in. And we're getting out rebounded. Come on. That's good defense. Thank you, Manu. Way to get that board down there. Now he's pushing up the ball to the court with a foot of steam to the paint. Manu Bowl's all clear for takeoff. That layup is good. I thought it was going to be a dunk, but I'll take two points either way. Dunk or layup, I'm satisfied. No one wants that goes in. Big boy inside with my boy T-Mac, and my opponent has no choice right there but to foul me because we had numbers on that fast break. It's been a cool minute since I have done a nice pick and pop between Manu and Magic. So let's try and roll right here between my boy Manu Bull and Magic Johnson. Beautiful screen up top. Got Manu Bull on a pop catch and shoot from deep green. Beam! For my boy Manu Bull with that three-pointer right there. He has his first takeover badge activated of the game, which is glass cleaning. High pick and pop again right here between T-Mac and Manu. Good screen. And pop my opponent. Played that very well. But we're beating Carolyn go off the dribble. Going all the way with a nice two-handed dunk. I can't believe that my, this man, Manu Bull, is beating Carolyn Go, who's one of the best defenders in my team, off the dribble like that. Oh, we got very lucky that my opponent missed that wide open shot in the corner. Up to Magic Johnson, to Manu Bull. Manu Bull stopping and pulling for three. Bang! Let's go, Manu Bull. Let's go. He's cooking up this half. It took me around like 10 minutes to get familiar with this man's release. And honestly, guys, that was a mistake that my opponent just did. He should not let me get familiar with this man's release because now I'm green with it. As I'm attacking him with Manu Bull off the dribble again, and that layup is good. And with that layup right there, guys, we have activated Magic Johnson's playmaking takeover. Big boy and my boy, D-Rob, up to Magic, up to Manu Bowl. Let's go. Stopping and popping on the wing. 4-3 and another green life from Manu Bowl. This man right now, guys, is simply unstoppable. D-Rob up to Manu Bowl, down the court. Manu Bowl right here, guys. Stopping and popping on the break. Another green light for Manu. This man right here, guys, I'm just simply speechless on how good he's performing right now. And the thing that he's doing, he's stopping and popping on breaks. This T-Mac has all of him intercepted and couldn't get that steal. It's all good, guys. But this man, Manu Bowl, is just simply playing out of his mind right now. Manu Bull for the close shot, catch and shoot, that's green, that's cash money. We were too close to the basket to miss that shot. And with that bugger right there, my boy Manu has crossed the 40-point marker. And it looks like we're going to be up by 19 points heading into now the fourth quarter. Good defense from Jonathan Isaac, up to Manu Bull on the break. One more to D-Rob on the floor. D-Rob going all the way with a nice two-handed dunk. And that right there, guys, is going to be the dagger in this game. It's up by 12 points now with a minute and a half left to go. All in all, this man Manu Bull had himself a very solid debut in this video. As he did finish off this game with 41 total points, 7 boards, and... 
one assist. Couple steals as well, guys. They had a couple cheesy amount steals. Very solid debut from a new bowl. So now moving on to the card review for this man, Ping Diamond Manu Bowl. I'm going to give him a solid 8 out of 10. And that is because I feel like he is really, really good at some things, but also really, really bad at others. He is really, really good at getting rebounds and playing interior defense, but he's really, really, really bad at playing perimeter defense. If my opponent wanted to five out me the entire game and put like, I don't know, say Bam Adebayo at his four or five and try to five out with him, this man, Manu Bull, would get destroyed guarding Bam out of bio. Same thing, guys, in the pick and roll defense with Manu Bull. It is very, very hard to use him in the pick and roll defense due to, like, his 55 premier defense and his super low lateral quickness. That right there, guys, being the big flaw in this card right here, which is why I'm giving him an 8 out of 10. But nonetheless, though, guys, even though this card right here can't play the best defense, he is still a very good card and a card I recommend you guys should pick up for like around 70,000 MT if you guys have the MT to spare. This man right here, you guys already know the tallest center in NBA 2K20, my team. And if you're playing up against somebody who is shorter than him, it's going to be a W on your part because you're going to have a huge advantage over someone a lot shorter than him. Because that is the main thing about this card, guys. The main thing about this card is that you're going to have the advantage with him because of his height over other centers who are averaging like 7 feet tall. The average center probably seven feet tall but with this new bull card considering seven foot seven that's where you're putting your mt into and that's where you're getting the advantage in with this card if you do choose to buy in so now that right there now is pretty much going to do it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy and if you guys did make sure you guys go on ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button also drop a like would be greatly appreciated and i'll catch all of you guys in the next one and as usual and as always thanks for watching and it's ybc and i'm out peace